Hey, go show me the kitchen camera. You got it. Streaming the kitchen camera on Master Bedroom TV. The ways cam. Hey, go show me the kitchen camera. You got it. Streaming the kitchen camera on Master Bedroom TV. Fairly quick load time there. Oops. Today, uh, I had to make a video for this because, of course, I love Google and, um, well, the Waze cams are, are really great, I think. I would definitely say for 20 bucks for indoor cameras, there's nothing better that you can buy. Uh, and today, this email here, let me know that Waze was officially enabled to work with the Google Assistant. So uh, this video that I've made is just going to show you how to go into your Google account, add the Waze account to where you can then use your voice and uh, or your phone at that point with your Google Assistant. Any way that you can talk to the Assistant and tell it what to do, like if you want to see your garage camera on your living room TV, you of course say, hey, show me the garage camera. And then it will show you the garage camera. This is the setup of that. Uh, this is the steps that you follow and take, and this is what that it'll kind of look like once you see it. It, uh, of course, supposedly works with the Google Nest Hub, uh, as well as any Chromecast-enabled device. So if you have a Chromecast, it'll allow it to cast to that device for you, and then you can see the, the video. So uh, check it out. I did a little voiceover and everything, and uh, yeah, you'll see how it works. So first you open your Google Home app and select Add or the plus sign, and then select Setup Device. Once you select that, then you select the Works with Google because it's a device that you already have set up through Waze. Now this is an entire list of all of the products that work with the Google Assistant. As you can see, compared to uh, other assistants, there's a lot more here. You scroll through all the way to the W's until you find Waze Home. As soon as you select Waze Home, it's going to bring you to the Waze Cam app. You then enter in your login information. Of course, select your Accept button to agree to add the devices and allow them to be used by Google. And then it links your Waze account with your Google Home account. Now, you can just go back and go to your main home screen here and scroll to the bottom. And there is the four devices or the four cameras that are linked to you. When you select the cameras, you do have these options here to rename it and unlink it. Hey, show me the kitchen camera. You got it. Streaming the kitchen camera on living room TV. But there we go. Now you can see that my Waze cam is uh, being streamed directly to my TV. Correct time and all, it is 2.59. Hey Google, show me the kitchen camera. Sure, streaming the kitchen camera on Master Bedroom TV. There we go. Ways right in the corner. It definitely works. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I specifically have both uh, the Lenovo Smart Display in my bedroom as well as the Google Home Hub that's in my living room. I think I have both of them set up so that they actually go to the respective Chromecast devices on the big screen TVs that are in each room. I believe that's why when I tell it to show me the, the cameras of whichever room, that's why that it's showing them to me on the big screen and not on the smart home displays. I do know according to Waze, the Google Home Hub uh, is supposedly fully compatible with Waze. Uh, my Lenovo smart display that I have in my bedroom, I have no idea, but I don't see why it would not be. I just had to make a video about this. Uh, I really like Waze cameras. I hope that Waze comes out with some kind of outdoor camera. Preferably something with a solar panel. Um, I would gladly pay 50 or 60 bucks. I know they try to keep prices down. And I have a great idea for them that I really want to try to like make with a 3D printer and show to them. Something that I think would help many manufacturers. It's something that like all manufacturers could use and it'd be very helpful to the people who, who are buying it. But uh, I don't know. Then it'd like give out my idea and then people would take it and 
Uh, I think it's a really good idea. Though. I could be crazy. I think that'll do it for today. Uh, I'm home a little early. Uh, Kaylee has officially graduated the second grade to go into the third grade and uh, so she'll be starting third grade on August 1st so congratulations and I hope that you enjoy your new laptop that you have been dying for for the past two or three months because apparently the really nice gaming computer that she plays on all the time is just not enough so she wanted to have her own laptop. I hope this video was helpful though and give the video a like and click that subscribe button in whichever corner down here that it's in because I can never remember which direction to point. Hopefully we'll have some more videos churning out. I still want to get back into the groove of this but with work and working out and life it's just sometimes hard to pick up the camera and do this. So hopefully I can be back soon consistently like once or twice a week. We will see you in the next one though. Have a good one. Deuces. As one last little thing to add, yes, you have to tell Google exactly which camera to stream, meaning that you have to use the correct syntax. So you have to say kitchen camera or bedroom camera or garage camera. You can't just say show me the camera and it's going to know what that you're talking about. A lot of people seem to have issues understanding that, but yes, it's a smart home, but it can only be smart if it's told exactly what to do. And if you're leaving it to an open choice of four choices, it's not going to know which camera you're talking about.